consider a stock exchange in which 5% of the companies go out of business every year and are delisted for bankruptcy. Obviously, it would be really useful if you could avoid devastating investment losses related to these failures. So let us assume that you have a test for bankruptcy which seems pretty accurate. 90% of the time, when this test says that a company will go bankrupt within the next year, it gets it right. And in 85% of the cases, when the test results show that a share is safe, it is also correct. Now imagine that you have invested a sizable amount in a specific company. Let's call it ABC Limited. You run the test for your investment and the results indicate looming disaster for ABC. What is the probability that you will lose all your money? The correct answer is not 95% or 90% or even 85%. It is in fact only 24%. In other words, a test that you thought had high precision suddenly seems worse than useless. If it predicts bankruptcy, it is three times more likely than not that your investment will survive the year unscathed. To many, these are puzzling and disconcerting results. There is little that is intuitive about a supposedly highly accurate test turning out to be wrong most of the time. Indeed, there is quite a lot going on here. Most obviously, it underlines one of the propositions of behavioral finance, that the majority of us are terrible statisticians. There is even a name for the cognitive affliction that causes us to make such hopelessly inaccurate inferences from situations like this. It is called base rate neglect. Essentially, the common mistake is to fixate on the fact that an accurate test has told us that a firm is a lost cause. Why would we doubt this? Surely the correct conclusion is clear and bankruptcy is almost certain? However, there is one crucial piece missing from the construct when framed in these terms. There is only a 5 in 100 chance that any given listing will fail. Including the so-called base rate in our analysis, things become a little clearer. In a 1,000 share stock exchange, 50 listings will fail in a given year. Our test will correctly identify 45 of these, which seems reasonable. But it is the false positives that wreck the effectiveness of our procedure. We will also incorrectly identify 142 safe securities as being at risk of bankruptcy. Thomas Bayes, an 18th century mathematician, is justifiably famous for giving us the theorem applied in this video that can help us overcome at least some of our computational inadequacies. Always assuming, of course, that we are prepared to do a little statistics.